It's part lobster roll, part hot dog. We wanted to incorporate the lobster uh, for, the, for the ocean and where we're located. And then we felt as if buttered lobster was the thing to do on top of this. Move over mustard and relish. At Pat's world-famous hot dogs at Hampton Beach, there are toppings. And then there are toppings. Take it right out of the, right out of the butter. It goes right on the dog. And then we add a delicious cheese sauce to that. And this is where that macaroni and cheese character starts to come in. John Sullivan and his son Pat own Pat's World Famous Hot Dogs, located at the beach on D Street. Why World Famous since 1982? Well, that was the year Pat was born. Hot dogs are trending right now. Everyone loves a good hot dog. It's all American. Um, you can build it up and eat it just like a sandwich would. Unique toppings to satisfy everyone's taste buds. And it doesn't stop at lobster. There is the breakfast hot dog, topped with bacon and eggs. And then we just top it with a little bit of hollandaise. The BLT dog. Lettuce. Chopped tomato. The nacho jalapeno dog, topped with chili, cheese sauce, and... Crushed Fritos. And... Olay. Sour cream. That is a Pat's World Famous Nacho Jalapeno Dog. But the most popular combines the backyard barbecue favorite with the most popular dish on the seacoast, lobster. We start with a grilled brioche roll. We put in a steamed red snapper hot dog. These red snapper dogs are uh, really an iconic item from uh, uh, down east of us, but we're, uh, <clears throat> we're taking it a little down the coast here and adding a couple of things that are just delicious to go with it. And that would be buttered lobster, cheese sauce, potato sticks, and then scallions. The spud sticks or the potato sticks on top, I think really give it that crunch. So you're all, it's almost like you're eating lobster mac and cheese with a little hot dog kind of flavor in there and it is so delicious. Taking a seat outside, I decided to try it for myself. Perfect. Right? Lobster and a hot dog, what more could you want? Pat's world famous hot dogs, brand new to Hampton Beach. Trust us, this is not your grandfather's hot dog joint. It's a hot dog rolled in flour, dipped in buttermilk, then wrapped up in a popular breakfast cereal. Just put it in the deep fryer. In downtown Keene, right on Main Street, local restaurant serves up a deep-fried Captain Crunch hot dog. But yeah, we blend it up straight from the cereal. It's more like a sweet breading, but it's really good because we mix it with spicy and sweet, so it works. The hot dog roll is layered with blue cheese dressing. For the Captain Crunch dog, we put blue cheese and buffalo, and other than that, nothing else. Similar to a corn dog, the Captain Crunch dog has unique taste with just the right amount of spice. Mac and cheese dog and a root beer, that's $6. in a corner parking lot in downtown Keene. Hot Hogs Barbecue is the tiny trailer that serves up hot dogs and barbecue with a big bowl taste. Nice and cheesy, our mac and cheese dog. From the barbecue meats to the smoked mac and cheese, even Shauna's homemade coleslaw, all toppings for the hot dogs. Shauna Davis and her husband opened their food truck to showcase their best barbecue food, but soon realized hot dogs were in demand. So we hated to turn people away, so we started serving hot dogs. And then my husband was watching NASCAR one day and said, if I could pick anything on our menu to make a menu item that I would like to eat right now, he's like, I would do this. And it was a layer of uh, coleslaw, a hot dog topped with our pulled pork. And uh, he came up with the name Hot Hogger. <laughs> we slow smoke and hand pull all of our meat. Make sure there's plenty of pork that covers the hot dog. Another favorite, the pig pen. People can choose from pulled pork, pulled chicken, uh, brisket. They can put that as toppings. The dog is layered on a bed of smoked barbecue beans topped with meat barbecue sauce on a bun that is grilled and branded. That is our pig pen. 
Michael Maine is a regular. His faith is the hot hogger. Tastes good, it's spicy, you know, hits all the right spots. You know, it's got the, the coleslaw and the, and the pulled pork and the hot dog, everything mixed together. Tastes great. You can create your own combination. There's chili, coleslaw, ketchup and mustard. Very good, very good. I mean, pretty often, every time I get a chance on break, when, it's, when it lasts not too long. And then there is this. The barbecue sundae, no ice cream needed. Mac and cheese, smoked beans, coleslaw, covered with meat, and a diced hot dog. It might take a lot to get to the bottom of yes. this. Yes. I always tell people, if you don't know what to order, get the barbecue sundae, because it's a little bit of everything on our menu. That's good. That's good. <laughs> that's a trip to the gym tonight, but that's yeah. really good. <laughs> anyway, you serve it, the all-American classic hot dog getting dressed up in some very creative ways.